good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome back to the channel in this series Finance Engineers. So in today's episode we are going to continue after this long break but uh, yeah as you know my wish in this channel is to help you to change the mindset financially but before we have a look on today's video i'd like to ask you to hit the subscribe button if it's your first time on this channel or if you have not done it before so to change the mindset it's a kind of uh, it's a kind of a decision you make but to make good decisions you need to have information so but as in in engineering to have uh, to make good decisions you need to have the right information and engineers usually they get information through numbers so that's why in today's video i want to talk about something we call time series so what is a time series a time series it is a set of uh, data a set of observations or let's say it's information arranged in a chronological way so we have a chronological order of some kind of data so that is a time series we will use time series in this uh, series uh, yeah but uh, that's how we make a, a, a we, we define a time series but there are two most important things which must appear in a time series so of course those observation they must be of the same type secondly they have to be recorded in a, say, following the same period so the two things which are the most important in a, a time series it's the data of the same type and uh, the period which must be the same for example if the, the, your data are recorded daily so that is a time series where the information is daily recorded it can be monthly it can be uh, weekly etc even sometimes every minute you record that so that is uh, a time series in you, know, you see that it is very easy as i like to tell to say that in theory everything is beautiful and in practice everything is fun and serious that's why in this series we prefer to mix theory and practice so let's jump to these four, uh, four examples that I have prepared for today and after the four examples we will understand correctly what is a time series so in this first example we have the number of patients that a doctor has recorded during uh, two first weeks of starting his new clinic so as you can see on this uh, table uh, the clinic opens from monday to sunday so and uh, the first day as you can see he has uh, received five patients the second on tuesday three then on wednesday six and so on so as we can see these time series just we have the period is one day because the data were recorded daily and also the data are on the same type which means then the data here uh, uh, is the number of patients that has been uh, recorded per each day uh, in the second example we have recorded what a worker was earning in dollars per hour during three days of working and that he was working uh, uh, from eight in the morning and then on the first day uh, from eight until nine nine away he has earned two dollars 
and so on in the second hour two dollars then uh, after the third hour it was the same two dollars etc until uh, day three at 5 p.m. where he has earned only one dollar so this also is a time series and the type of data here is the the money just the number of dollars he has earned after each hour of working and then the period is one hour because every hour he was working and we can see that he took of course a break that's why there is no no nothing related to, to 12 because he was taking a, a break between 11 to 12 yeah in the third example we have uh, just my monthly income after one year of working so after one year i see it and then i have written in rwandan francs how much money I, I was earning per month in the first month it was 233,000 francs until December where in December I managed to make 250,000 francs uh, in the fourth example here it's just the the prices of a share in a company uh, just the the currency here is the Swedish krona so during uh, five days per week so the market opened uh, in five days and then this is the how the prices were changing in the market for that share so after these examples I hope you understand clearly what is a time series and uh, see you in the next video and thank you for watching and uh, you can also check other previous videos and don't uh, forget to write comments or ask questions in the sections comment section below and uh, so and also support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and uh, I end the video here but as usual I wish you love and money see you next time